Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a solo parenting evening routine. So it's just Jasper and I as Dan was out this evening and as you can see it begins at 20 past four in the afternoon and I'm just showing you the mess and all the festivities in the home. This is Jasper's favourite thing to do at the moment is climb up the door. And now you can just see me prepping tea for him and you can also see the tripod wiggling around as he thought that was a fabulous toy. But tonight I am making salmon fish cakes. This is a wean in 15 recipe that I found on Instagram which is run by Joe Wicks and I love it. They are so easy and simple yet so tasty. So I'm just peeling the sweet potato here um, and then I pop it in the microwave to cook but you could also roast and or boil it. Then you just cook salmon, add parsley. Um, anything else you want I added a bit of paprika and breadcrumbs and then you just fry them off in coconut oil obviously you've cooked the salmon beforehand and then I also serve this with veggies tonight he is having tender stem broccoli and peas so yeah this is just me getting it all ready So here I am just mashing down the sweet potato while the salmon is cooking and then I will combine the salmon in there with the rest of the ingredients so it's nice and flaky. And as you can see if you're wondering where he was, he was just playing around on the floor but very much climbing up my legs and in the covers and then just wanted to be with me. So here we are doing the full thing of a one-handed job and this is basically the majority of how I spend my time as he just wants to be with his mummy so the one-handedness is becoming a very fine art. So here is the finished product. I am also having the same as Jasper tonight, so I just add chili to mine. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna dish it up to him right away. And I just cut it into slices for him. It's also ever so soft, so it is very easy for him to eat. Peas are his absolute favorite, so he'll always go for peas first. And he does love his tender stem. Um, and also I try and get him to have the fish cakes to start with, but he's not interested. He very much likes to feed himself and in his own terms. So I tend to just leave him to it and let him do whatever he wants to do. to dessert Jasper is having some sliced up strawberry and kiwi he's gone off his strawberries a bit lately but I'm still trying um and yeah he loves a bit of kiwi and then he's also having just a Tesco own brand from Edge Phrase yogurt he loved these and he has them maybe a couple of times a week a few times a week depending on if he has them at lunch or not but yeah he loves these <laughs> We finish off with some water from his Tommy Tippy sippy cup. This is just a free flow one. I always help him out a bit first as he likes to slosh it everywhere and then he very much feeds himself. Once that is all done and I've just cleaned him up quickly, we then go on upstairs to start the proper nighttime routine. First stop is in the bathroom. I always try and entertain him, but he loves this little box just with some like hand creams and hand uh, soaps in. So I give that to him while I run his bath. We use the snuggle bath still, but he's very much outgrown it and I desperately need to get him a bath seat. Um, but this is what we're using and I love the Johnson's baby bath. It is literally that newborn baby smell and it just, oh, I just love it when he smells of that. Uh, here I am just making the bubbles and we use a Tommy TP uh, temperature. This is actually a room and water temperature monitor which is amazing. And of course it being the winter I always pop his towel and evening clothes on the radiator to warm up while we pop him in the bath. 
Oh, he's so cute, honestly. But we're just brushing his teeth with his little Aquafresh toothbrush. He's not very good at letting me do it anymore, but I scrub his two little front ones and then give it to him just to chew on and play with. And then as you can see, he's an absolute loony and completely outgrown this and just likes to climb up in it and be cheeky as anything. Honestly, I had to cut this clip at some point because he actually launched himself out of it and I had to catch him. <laughs> Hilarious. Now the battle of getting him out of the bath, as bath time is definitely his favourite. But tonight's towel, which is so lovely, was kindly gifted to me from a company called Newborn by New Me. I will link them down below. But I love this towel. It washes perfectly. It's like bamboo. It's so soft and it's really absorbent. So it really soaks up all the water and the towel doesn't get really wet, which is amazing. But I'm just giving him a little cuddle as he hates getting out of the bath and I just want to snuggle him forever. <music> The snuggles don't last long because little guy just wants to roam around and be a lunatic basically. This guy is hating having a nappy on and getting dressed at the moment so as soon as he's got that bit of freedom he is off. As you will see all he wants to do is just climb up and be in the nude so I'm just hiding his modesty here but yeah this is this is my evening it is such a battle. Finally, I try and just lay things out, get myself as organised as possible. Normally, Dan and I would tag team trying to pin him down to get his clothes on. But when you're a one-man band, it's pretty difficult. So this is just what he's wearing to bed. His nappy, his vest, his little next winter sleep suit and his dinosaur Sainsbury's sleeping bag. And this is what I have to do. I have to literally pin him down because he's just trying to escape me and it becomes such a battle he cries you'd honestly think i was torturing him so needing two of us for this part is key as an evening routine that's meant to be relaxing very much becomes pretty stressful trying to distract him with a toy we would usually give him like a story to read or I normally sing to him a massage but as you can see he was really tired rubbing his eyes and things get pretty stressful so I just wanted to get him in his clothes as soon as possible and get him ready so that we could have a proper cuddle and really unwind with the lights down low and having a feed <music> Also, these next baby grows are my favourite. They're Christmassy ones and they were literally like six or seven pound. And I love the next baby grows. They literally wash up perfectly and I just adore them. Someone that can hold me through the night. I'll count to ten, then open up my eyes. If you're gone, I'll take it as a sign. has been full I just spray a little bit of lavender and chamomile sleep spray I spray this on my own pillow and then get his lullabies ready we're kind of weaning him off the lullabies a little bit but tonight was a battle so this is what we put on and then finally we dim the lights and we settle down for our feed this is actually the only time he really cuddles me unless we're somewhere strange and he wants a cuddle but this is when I get those full-on relaxing cuddles of him having his nighttime feed with his little comforter and him just doing his comforting by holding onto my face or anything he can get his hands on but this is probably one of my favorite parts of the day not because it's the end of the day but it's just one of those quiet moments him and I get together and I try and cherish that as much as possible but if you stay, then baby hold me tight And send me off with the words of a lullaby He 
is asleep. I very much feed him to sleep and he's out for the count. So all that done by 10 to seven. So now it's time to clear away before I can sit down and relax. So let's clear this mess because I mean, oh, I hate having to do all this. Does anyone else just really need to tidy everything away before they can relax? Because Dan will just happily leave it and do it right before bed, whereas I like to do it before I sit down. Because, I mean, look how much better it looks. I can actually relax now. So at quarter past seven, not too shabby, and I'm able to sit down and finally relax with all my Christmas lights on and the room tidy and just watch a bit of whatever I want to on the TV, which is lovely. And that is that. I can sit down, put my feet up, drink some water, keep hydrated. This is why I like to eat with Jasper as well because I don't have to think about cooking once I've done the evening routine and I'm just gonna pop whatever I want to on the TV. So here I was thinking I was saying goodbye to you and then half past eight, the monitor starts making some noise and Jasper is awake so off I go to sort him out but thanks all for watching guys he did finally settle around half past 11 but if you like this video hit that thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe bye